Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And what are we looking at today? Well, not stage lighting. Okay, so as I mentioned in my other videos, what you're looking at here is some beautiful footage uh, shot by my friend Kevin Ward of MixCoach.com of uh, some fobbles, which are uh, fog machine bubbles, uh, which are an awesome machine. We've got those, uh, but also that's not what we're talking about today. Uh, uh, moving heads, outdoor moving heads, and what are we watching it on? An LED wall. As I mentioned on the main channel, if you're new here, maybe you didn't see that, we'll put a link to it. Um, lighting and video has been coming together for years. In fact, you could even argue that lighting and video have always been together because they're both visual things, right? Video is pixels on a screen. Um, even before they were technically pixels, they kind of were. You know, they lit up, right? Even the old tube TVs back in the day, they, they light up, right? and they show colors, and that's what we do in lighting too. Um, but more and more today, video and lighting comes together uh, more and more and more. And so that's why um, when the folks at Creation LED, that's creationled.video, who are longtime friends of mine, reached out, um, we started to chat with them and say, okay, you know, if we're gonna look at your LED wall as well as other ones, we're gonna have others on the channel, don't you worry, um, what do we need to look at? How do we show these accurately to people? And how do we make to you guys our best, absolute best recommendations as to what you should get um, based on, um, you know, a variety of factors of your budget, your needs, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so they sent this wall down as a demo for me to check out and for us to do this review and the video on our main channel about building a permanent install LED wall. So let's dive in. The Creation LED wall um, is an LED wall that comes in a variety of pixel pitches. This one is a 2.5 millimeter pixel pitch, okay? And they're a permanent install LED wall. So you are mounting this permanently to the wall. This is not portable, um, but if you're in a situation where you want to mount this to the wall and it's never going to move, you should not use a portable panel. Why? Number one, um, these are going to be fully front serviceable, okay? Like literally, because we're here, why not? Um, say I've got an issue with a power supply, or oops, this is not plugged in, um, or I've got an issue with a module down the road, or I damage it, or my kid goes up to it. All I do is I grab this vacuum tool, right? Fully front serviceable. I pop in. Oops, you got to turn it on first. That's really key. Pop in, hit the button. pop the module, and now, as you can probably see, I'll move out of the way, uh, I can get to some of the internal components, I can pop another one, uh, the power supply is over here, and I can just pop my modules, replace anything I might need to, say I got a lightning strike or something, it knocks something out, I can put it back. Done, nice and easy, okay? Being able to get to everything from the front and having something that is designed to run 24-7 for years and years to come is key and it's crucial, okay? I cannot tell you, um, and I've spent so long not getting into LED walls uh, because I've been studying it for years and years and years, because you get people, like I had a friend recently at a church locally, they bought an LED wall. They didn't get it through us, they went with a different brand, and the failure rate that they're getting, the amount of bad pixels, bad modules, that they're constantly sending back is just astounding. It's massive, okay? I got this LED wall out, I broke a couple pixels accidentally by being a little bit rough with them uh, when I first was pulling them out of the box. Um, other than that, they supplied me with spare modules. I had a couple modules that for whatever reason didn't power up. Stuff happens in shipping, it's electronics, that's fine. But I had plenty of spare modules, I still have spare modules, plus I have those two that didn't power up that are perfectly good. And I have a 100% working wall, okay? Um, and so that's really where we wanna start today, is 
you know, over at Learn Stage Lighting Gear, we've got a variety. We've got um, a few on the site of permanent install LED walls, and there's even more that we have access to through different brands. So why are we bringing you this one? Is it just because they gave me free stuff? No, it's not. In fact, I, I would have paid for this wall, um, but they offered to send it, and so that's fine. Um, but honestly, like, the reliability rate that these walls have is, I think, w one of two things that sets them apart. So we'll get back to that. The other is how easy it is to make them look on camera. So Creation LED, um, for those who don't know, because they're a small company, um, you may not have heard of them, they make all of these built to order in the factory that they contract with um, overseas. Okay. Um, and so what you're getting is specifically for you. It's made for you by them. Okay. They've built this wall and they've designed it to have every component from the processing cards to um, the processors, the LEDs themselves, everything is designed to make it look really, really good, not only in your space visually, but on camera, right? Like, for example, with a 2.5 millimeter LED wall, most people would say on camera or in person, you want to be about 15 feet away from that wall. Meaning that if I was, say, on a 50 millimeter lens on my camera, that would probably be the shot would be uh, the same visually as someone standing 15 feet away. Now my camera's about eight feet away, it's about half that distance, and without much coaxing, this wall looks really good, okay? And what haven't I done that, that I should do with the camera? One, I'm using a rolling shutter camera. This is a Sony ZV-E10, and this is an even older Sony A6000, okay? Um, this, this clip is in slow-mo. Um, and so this is an A6000 focused on that wall, everything looks really good. It's an old camera too. Um, and this is a ZV-E10, like I mentioned, not an expensive camera. Um, it is rolling shutter, not global shutter. So that means that uh, things like LED walls are hard to make look good on it. And I'm standing close to the wall. And that's a big thing with LED walls. Oops, got my mouse in the screen. Um, that's a big thing with LED walls is that when you have someone who's close to them and you focus on that person, Okay, that Moyar effect, you see the zebra stripes and stuff like that. And actually, I'll go ahead and simulate it here, bring it up on this camera. So if I start to focus on that wall, okay, you see that right there where it kind of goes all stripy and funky and you see the individual LEDs? It's actually really hard. I'm trying to get it more pronounced, but I actually can't right now. Um, and that just shows you um, where this wall is like a really nice premium wall, but without the premium high-end cost, okay? Also, the footage that we're running on it right now. This is outdoor footage that was shot by a friend of mine, again, Kevin Ward from MixCoach.com, on a Canon C100S. It's a nice camera, okay? Nice video camera. Okay, we shot this at night to showcase these moving head fixtures that we sell in the Christmas light industry. And there's, there's very bright spots in this footage and there's very dark spots in this footage. Okay, and as I look at this wall and as you look at it through the screen, you can see it all looks really good. Meaning that there's a couple things that contribute to this. Okay, the first is that the brightness of this LED panel out of the box is I believe 800 nits. Now a nit is how bright a screen is, it's how they measure, okay? Computer monitors have brightness in nits um, and LED walls do. When you use an LED wall indoors, even if you have a good amount of natural light, like if I open up all my window shades in here and I have it pretty bright, um, I don't even run this thing quite at full. But if I were to go with a typical LED wall, um, at the low end, the, the ones we like that are portable are around a thousand nits, okay, at the lower brightness. A, a lot of panels, especially those that are cheaper, maybe 1500, maybe 2000 nits. When you dim that brightness down, you start to lose color depth. You start to lose resolution in the dimming of those colors and it doesn't look great. So that's the first thing that they did is they engineered this purposefully to not be as bright and that that is harder to do and it costs more, right? The other thing that they've done is they've built in processing um, and receiving cards 
that have a really good bit depth to them, good scan rate, all that stuff. Okay, and, and what that results in is like, look, this is a well that I'm in focus on the camera. I'm literally, you know, three and a half feet away from it and you're not getting zebra stripes, you're not getting Moyar effect. Now, yes, I had to focus manually, autofocus is gonna keep catching the wall and gonna drop you into that. But the fact is, the fact that I could just simply adjust the brightness, adjust my shutter rate a little bit, uh, set my focus to manual, and this wall looks really good behind me. We're not catching Moyar effect. We're not really seeing artifacts uh, from the refresh rate at all in, in the way that the camera's rolling shutter works. Um, like if I look really closely, sometimes I see a little bit of variation in the black that's not there in person, but it's really, really subtle. And honestly, that comes down more to the fact that I'm using a pretty inexpensive camera here in the studio. Um, having a nicer camera, having a global shutter or even a shutter that's just designed a little bit better for high action stuff. Um, like I know Canon's got some that are kind of like a hybrid or something um, and, and those can help. And I'm also, of course, not gen locked to my processor, um, which means that the frames between the camera and the processor are not in sync with each other. Again, on nicer cameras in a bigger space, um, you would typically do this and that would improve um, the look of the LED wall. So, let's get down to brass tacks. We like this LED wall. Why do we like it? Is it for everyone? No. So I hate clickbaity titles even though I threw one in here because there's a channel out there right now, it's very popular, and they'll put out videos and be like, this is the best LED wall guide for churches. And and I, I love what they're doing, I think they're doing good things, but sometimes I think they take it a little far. Those and, and, and there's one right now that's busy, but there's been others in the past and there will be more in the future, right? We're in it for the long haul, we're in stage lighting, we're gonna be around, okay? Um, past so much of this, okay? And so, you know, you see people that say stuff like that, and I'm not going to say that this is the best wall for everyone. However, if you've priced out walls, if you've gotten quotes from people, if you've looked at the different options on the market, um, you're going to see that this wall honestly sits right in the middle, but quality-wise, everything I see is really high-end. Like, the fact that I got this wall new out of the box, and yes, I had two bad modules, and I went back to Creation LED, and they said that was a little bit out of the norm, um, and, and they'll repair those, they'll, they'll get those switched out right away for you under warranty. Um, you know, that's not an issue as a customer, so if you get modules that are bad out of the box, great. But then, we've been running it here for a week or two, um, it's gonna continue running like all the time in here, and uh, we're gonna see. But what I know we're gonna see, because um, I know the guys at Creation LED, they started this journey five years ago and their oldest walls are four years old and have been running constantly for those four years. And those walls that have been running the longest and any of their newer walls that they've got running, they all, one, are the same wall, so same factory, same process, they haven't changed anything um, throughout the time. And, and number two is they're just not seeing pixels go bad. They're not seeing modules go bad, power supplies go bad. You know, in four plus years, these walls are completely maintenance free for them um, with one or two subtle exceptions. But again, like I just showed you, it's not hard to get in there and adjust things. It's not hard to fix, okay? And when you combine that with the fact that it has such a great quality, I mean, the fact that I can see, even in the compression of this MP4 file, the difference between this, this night sky that's really dark and then where the trees are, um, and I can see the difference in those grays, and it's it's not just all black, um, I can, but I can also see the hot spot of the light shooting through the air with the, I believe it's a snow machine on right now, or the bubbles or what have you, is, it's just, it's, it's really, really good quality stuff. Um, so, if you're out there looking for an LED wall for a permanent install, maybe it's signage in a lobby, maybe it's screens in your worship center, maybe it's a screen in a, a entertainment venue, okay? and you want something that's gonna be very, very low maintenance, live a long life, and look amazing, and be something you can install yourself with minimal skills. Uh, you can check out our video on installing it, we'll link to it below as well as here on the screen. Uh, and when you add all that stuff together, this wall from Creation LED 
can really be a win. Is it right for everyone? No, of course not. No single product is, and anyone that tells you that is lying, okay? Um, but we think these are awesome, um, and if you have the budget to spring for, for something like this, it's not the most expensive wall you're gonna find out there, but it's far from the cheapest, and we would love to help you explore what options you have. So hop over to learnstagelightninggear.com, Check these out, we'll have a link to them below. Um, all of the Creation LED walls are custom, okay? So you decide on the size, we'll help you figure out exactly what sizes you can do. Um, then it gets ordered, okay? Then it shows up um, a couple months later. And so um, that is the process to be able to get something that's this high quality, that's customized, so that you're getting something that is a consistent batch, consistent spare parts, um, everything is customized to you. So. Check out Creation LED, check out what we've got going on, and over at Learning Stage Lighting Gear, if you have any questions about this LED wall, any LED walls, lighting, anything, hey, we're your gear experts. We would love to help you determine the best fit for you across multiple manufacturers, even though oftentimes it means we make less money. Um, we would love to help you out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe here to the Gear Channel, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Thanks.